Kjern's Klint is a white chalk cliff in Denmark, stretching 17 km along the coast. It is an UNESCO heritage site because of its geological importance. So today we are going to Stuens Clint. So one of those rare days when we woke up early. So Stuens Clint uh, is, a, is an UNESCO heritage site. We are planning to do a hike of uh, around 21 kilometers. It's a seaside hike. So we are excited to do that and the hike ends in a chalk cliff which is called the Stuens Clint. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. <laughs> From Copenhagen, we took a train to Ku. From Ku, another train to Store Heading Station. The cliff is located 7 km southeast of the Store Heading Station. From the station, we started our hike. The road from station to the cliff has beautiful wheat fields on both sides. It was a bright sunny day and a perfect day for a walk. We also did a small detour between some Christmas tree farm. We reached Hoerup. It's a very beautiful town with an arty displays on the pavement and beautiful rose plants at every other doorstep. From far, we could see the old Hoyrup church. The old Hoyrup church, which stands at the top of the cliff, dates from the year 1200. As a result of erosion, a landslide in 1928 caused a part of the church to collapse and fall to the shore below. From the church, you could get a very beautiful glimpse of the chalk cliff and the beach. Then we were on our way to climb down. There were quite a many steep steps to go down. After all this hike, we decided to take some rest and have our lunch by the sea. We continued our walk till the beach. It was a pebble beach. We could see the chalk cliffs and the layers on the chalk cliff. In 2014, Stevens Clint was added to the UNESCO list of World Heritage Sites because it is the best place in the world to witness stresses of asteroid that wiped out the dinosaurs 
and more than half of the Earth's flora and fauna 66 million years ago. Between the cliff's thick layer of chalk and limestone, there is a thin layer of fish clay. The fish clay is a greyish brown layer of clay of just 5 to 10 centimeters. In 1978, geologist Alvarez came to Denmark and took samples of the fish clay. The samples showed large amounts of the element iridium. It is an element that does not occur naturally on Earth, but is found in large quantities in space. This proves that an asteroid might have hit the Earth and wiped the dinosaurs. This was quite amazing to imagine that dinosaurs once used to roam around at the same place where we were sitting. We took some time to take all that in and threw some pebbles in the sea along with. We continued our hike now to the lighthouse. So we are now walking to the Stearns Clint Lighthouse. Um, it's a beautiful uh, cliff walk, I would say, towards the lighthouse. It's one and a half kilometer walk till there. And we're walking on a small forest path and it's so beautiful. And it's just next to the sea. The hike was very beautiful along the cliff, next to the pea fields and patches of wildflowers. We tasted a lot of sweet peas from the fields. Then after appreciating the beauty from the cliff top, we reached the lighthouse. We went above the lighthouse and saw a 360 degree view of the entire place. There was also a small bird museum. And a museum explaining the geological timeline in Stearns Clint. You can also visit the nearby World War Museum if you have enough time. Happiness is not real unless shared. Exactly. And I, I, that just that, that line took I was fully following him. I'm like, this is an amazing life. Mm -hmm. job karni, main ke andar, and I'm gonna do the thing what he's doing. <laughs> and the way he ended the movie was, was just perfect.
We continued our cliffside hike to the Rollway Station. It was again around 8 kilometers cliffside hike. The hike was beautiful just along the cliffs with amazing views of the Wadden Sea. We had a wonderful day walking along the white cliffs, fortunate enough to visit one of the most geologically rich places, not only in Denmark, but in the history in the formation of the world.